There's no way. There's no way? No way. Flashback. Do many people do the challenges? Uh, more so in summer. In summer? Yeah. And cool. then we'll read over the rules. Okay. We bring it out to you and then okay. start the timer. Okay. 12 seconds later. The, the bre he, he thought the breakfast challenge was 12 pounds, so he said? Yeah, let me ask. What? The website doesn't say it just says yeah. doesn't say twelve pounds. Unless but. they add it like with the hash browns and the toast. Six and a half hours later. So so it's now twenty five minutes and no longer forty five minutes. And what's the price tag on it now? Sixty two ninety five. Okay, because on my online it says like forty seven dollars. Does it? So everything's wrong. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, you don't want people to win? Well, we want to want them to win, <laughs> but we don't want to keep giving a hundred dollars away all the time. Uh, I see. Oh wait, there's a hundred bucks. You get a hundred dollars if you win. Really? You for free. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah. This is this is very different than uh, flashback. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're in Longview, Washington. Kind of like. Olympia slash further south, we're actually super close to Oregon. Oregon maybe is even like a better whatever. Like Oregon is literally just a couple minutes that way. So today we're outside Stuffy's 2. Yes, Stuffy's 2 restaurant. I don't know why it's Stuffy's 2 and not Stuffy's 1. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find out. Here to do one of their challenges. So they actually have a couple here. They have a big breakfast challenge. They have what they call a stuff challenge. It's kind of like a hash brown challenge. It's kind of an interesting one. They also do big cinnamon challenges. Today we're going to try the breakfast challenge. It's actually been a long time since I've done a breakfast challenge. In fact, I looked it up and it's, I mean, it's actually been about a year and a half coming on two years since I've done a breakfast challenge, which is pretty crazy to think about. Like, that's a long time, especially like this kind of a breakfast challenge, which is basically a massive omelette. Um, omelette served with toast. Um, it is, uh, they call it the almost dozen egg omelette, even though it has a dozen eggs. Again, this place has some really interesting names. I think on the co like on the menu, they call it coffee cup of mud. Like, it's, there's something, I don't know, they got some funny names. And again, they call it, like, literally, the item on the menu is called stuff, like a stuff which is again like the hash brown dish, which they have a challenge of. Anyway, interesting place, but stuffies. We'll find out some more about it. But yeah, pretty much it's about a $50 omelet, free if we complete in the 45 minute time limit. Um, you also get a free t-shirt. And I've heard a rumor, maybe, maybe. You also get a hat or something? I don't know, we're gonna go in. Let's go find out. That's fun, eat food, at that. Longview, Washington, let's go eat. So the place is all kinds of like, license plates and memorabilia all over the place. Definitely looks really like, Rustic, pretty cool. They're playing some Elvis. It is definitely like a 50s, 60s style. Um, but yeah, look at this like burger stuff, more stuff, which is just like chicken strips and fries, drink stuff, alcohol stuff, terms and stuff. They got all kinds of like, like uh, gob, crackleberries, cool seven, cactus juice, appetizer stuff, sweet stuff. Like I said, everything's about a Everything's revolved around stuff. Griddle stuff, steak stuff, then a normal, like I said, the stuff, which is like a hash brown thing. So yeah, this is, uh, I guess it's fair to say they got, they got a lot of stuff. And look at these, look at the size of these cinnamon buns. These are crazy. So these cinnamon buns, or cinnamon rolls, whatever you want to call them, I guess they weigh about seven and a half pounds, which is insane. And they only cost 22 bucks. Apparently you also get a free one on your birthday if you come and order an entree, so. But those things are so big, like, wow, that's crazy. Do many people do the challenges? Uh, more so in summer. In summer? Yeah. I don't know, maybe get more out to it versus the winter time. Oh yeah? And cool. then we'll read over the rules. Okay. We bring it out to you and then okay. start the timer. Okay. Do you want anything else to drink? Uh, the the bre he, he thought the breakfast challenge was 12 pounds, so he said? Yeah, let me ask. The website doesn't say it just says yeah. doesn't say twelve pounds. Unless no. they add it like with the hash browns and the toast. Nah, I don't, well I don't know. I mean, that's yeah. that's pretty big. Yeah. The two pound steak is, oh, is huge. Six and a half hours later. It's a seven pound stuff of your choice, okay. and that one's thirty minutes. Sorry, so just clarify. So so it's now twenty five minutes, and no longer forty five minutes. And what's the price tag on it now? Sixty-two ninety-five. Okay, because online also says like forty-seven dollars. Does it? So everything's wrong. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, we want to want them to win, but we don't want to keep giving a hundred dollars away all the time. Uh, I see. Oh wait, there's a hundred bucks. You get a hundred dollars if you win. Really? You for free. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah. This is this is very different than uh, very different. But all right. Well, I guess we'll I guess we'll see what happens with it, right? You get it for free. Can you eat good. I don't know. I, Can you eat good? I. We're gonna find out, I guess. Yeah. 
<laughs> Before we get eating, there's always cooking. So let's congratulate the sponsor of today's video being Cooking Fever on their 10th anniversary. So Cooking Fever is the world's biggest cooking theme mobile game with over 40 unique restaurants from various topics and cuisines. And we got restaurants like TGI Fridays, which is pretty dang cool. What you need to try right now. Each restaurant has a unique game mechanic, so it's never boring. Furthermore, as you process through the game, you can upgrade your restaurant, beginning with meals and kitchen appliances and ending with interior details. You can run your own restaurant, practice your skills in a variety of settings and cooking techniques with many different kitchen appliances, with, from coffee makers to rice cookers, pizza ovens, and popcorn makers. You can decorate the restaurants to even attract more clients and get more tips and even upgrade your kitchen to produce an even greater variety of dishes. It's a great game that you can play anywhere. I find it relaxing and fun, but you can make it a bit more difficult and challenging when you feel like it. In fact, that's why it's the most popular F2P cooking genre mobile game in the world with 500 million installs in 150 countries. I remember seeing the game years ago, but recently rediscovering it, I can say it's en as enjoyable as ever. And in fact, it's actually even better. I think it's a great game anybody can enjoy. It's completely free as well and available for iOS and Android, so give it a go. In fact, for their 10th anniversary, Cooking Fever is a gift for you. So download the game right now using my link or the QR code on screen and receive 50 gems and 50,000 coins for free until October 1st, so act quick. Hi everybody, so here we are with the omelet looking very, very, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought. And it's very different than some of the photos I've seen. I've never seen one that's so kind of stuffed and filled with toppings like this. Normally I feel like it's kind of mixed in, but we have all the cheeses. So there's hash browns in the omelet, hash browns on a big side of them as well. Four pieces of toast, so basically eight halves. And with brown, I have the option of a wheat toast, a white toast, a rye bread, or a sourdough. Um, obviously, this is the almost 12 egg omelet, even though it's 12 eggs. I don't understand that nonetheless. Apparently this weighs, well, we were told 12 pounds. We were told seven pounds, so somewhere between there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's lots of stuff. I think I mentioned all the everything that's in here, like green peppers and uh, onions and mushrooms and olives and it's steaming actually it kept its heat kept its heat quite well and is it three cheeses on here or two cheeses three what kinds are they i would guess american american swiss, and cheddar. american swiss and cheddar so it's a cheesy one as well um but yeah it's pretty much it so like we said apparently for, well, at the end, we also have somewhere between 25 and 45 minutes. Price tag between 47 and $63. So it depends what menu and order you want to go by. Um, that being said, I'm excited. I'm just going to grab some napkins and we are going to get started here just momentarily. With that, everybody, I'm ready to get rocking. Restaurant's ready. Get rocking. All right. And uh, everybody's super friendly here, I will say. Definitely got a nice small town vibe, very personable. We have. Uh, People watching from all over the place had some really great comments, including uh, what was it, Mother of Mary? What did, what did the guy just say a minute ago? Mary, Mother, Mary, Mary, Mother of Joseph, or something like that. I was like, yeah, it is pretty big. Um, but yeah, guys, like I said, I got uh, also some variety of sauces here. They have a whole bunch of Cholulas and Tabascos and Tapatillos. And literally, I like that when I said, hey, do you have hot sauce? He said, what kind? That's cool. Apparently, I do not have to eat this kale, apparently. Maybe we'll eat it anyway. Hold on, so this is not part of the challenge. Let's eat it anyway for the kids before we start then, so I can eat this without starting the time. All right, let's eat this. Set an example for the kids. Kids, eat your veggies. Even though there's lots of veggies in here. So, now that we've eaten the rabbit food, we're gonna start over here with the omelet, hash browns, and toast. Maybe we'll mix it all up. Do you have any tips and suggestions? No. Nope. Don't look back. Just don't look back. Don't all look right. back, I like that. Want that? How about you rock and rolling, guys? Maybe save the count of, ah, be with me, Lord Jesus. How about five, four, three, two, two one. one. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Well, one for sure. There's no way. There's no way? No way I can do that. I wouldn't encourage you to do it. One thing's sure, this is a thick ama guy. Wow. This is the first time I've been here in 10 years, and the day I come here after 10 years, this is what happens. See, 
I will say the mix of all the olives. Peppers, onions. Honestly, I it's good. Came here for my Very good. Yeah. Ooh. Hey everyone, welcome to Zoom and welcome to a restaurant that I've been wanting to visit for many years for one of their many challenges. Here we are at Stuffy's 2 Restaurant in Longview, Washington. Really close to Portland, a little bit away from Seattle. Yeah, it's a really tasty omelet. And here we are with their almost 12 egg omelet challenge, which I don't know why it's called that because it actually has 12 eggs. I really like it. But I digress. So basically an extra large omelet filled with toppings, then toast and hash browns. So here's my first day post-Mexico. I did not take the Imodium. I'm hoping they don't regret that here. Because what happened in Mexico did not stay in Mexico. So this is like a very traditional, I'd say kind of like American style breakfast slash American style breakfast challenge. And like I said, it had been a couple years actually since I had even attempted one. Yeah, it's actually really, really flavorful. And so I'm not gonna lie, I was really enjoying this thing. Just the flavors, and I think it was because I haven't had something like this in a long time. To be honest, I hadn't had even an omelet in a couple years. Stuffy's got some good food. It's good food. When it came to the actual toppings and fillings, man, this thing was loaded. As you see, there are just so many fillings in here. Um, they definitely had no shortage of toppings, cheese, etc., etc. Um, that is for sure. The hash browns were like a shredded potato versus more like a chunky fry, which some people call a home fry. I'm not sure. This is actually a massive omelet. So thick, and there's a lot of hash browns here. Let's go down quick because it's kind of like just a soft food, if you know what I mean. But impressively large. And then everything but the toast was then covered in cheese. Um, I did appreciate the like literally probably six different kinds of hot sauce they gave me. When I asked for uh, potential for jams, I think I also got maybe three or four options. So they had loads of everything, loads of options and sauces and toppings and all flavors. Tastes good though. The staff here were great, super kind of like small town, local feel, and the hospitality definitely came through. Lots of cheese. That's one thing. I'll try a little grating Cholula on here. Would you like me some hot sauce and eggs? Mm -hmm. mm. Yum. Very good. Ooh. And so the actual rules for the challenge was 25 minutes in order to get the about 70-ish dollar omelet for free. Again, all these rules had been changed, I guess, and not updated on their website. And the prizes were the free meal, a t-shirt, and even $100 cash, which was a big surprise. May I try some green Tabasco? See how that compares? A lot more acidic. So we were also told at the beginning that this challenge might have weighed 12 pounds, but the menu calls it seven pounds. And I think the seven pound mark is definitely a lot more accurate. I do not see this, and actually I'm sure this didn't weigh 12 pounds, but seven pounds definitely seems pretty accurate, I would say, when you account for everything included. But definitely a very large breakfast challenge nonetheless, and one which had been tried apparently thousands and thousands of times. Also delicious. When I can hear the staff talking about me choosing soda waters and thinking it's strategy. And at that point, I can definitely promise choosing soda water over normal water is not strategy. If anything, it's probably counteractive as it does fill you up a bit. Really, I just like it. All right, well, nice yama. Maybe uh, five and a half minutes or so. Nice to be able to hash browns. 
and the toast. Ooh, I got a little bubble gut going on right now. By that, I mean like gurgling bottom. Not great to feel, but nonetheless. So hash browns. Mm -hmm. Actually tastes pretty good. Maybe a good way to describe those potatoes is like diner food, like diner hash browns, just like super oily, super heavy, super greasy. All this, I guess you could maybe call this like diner food, like almost hangover food. Thank you. Thank you. That's some ketchup here, but I need it. Maybe we'll try a little bit. Ketchup potatoes go really well. Ketchup hash browns. Very nice. In fact, let me know in a comment down below if you enjoy ketchup with your hash browns. I definitely like ketchup with a few things, and one being potatoes. I think ketchup and potatoes just go very, very well. Um, but at that, that's pretty much the majority of the information. So like we said, 25 minutes in order to get the meal for free, a t-shirt, and apparently a cash prize. Add some flavors. Although when it comes to eggs, I will say some hot sauce and egg action is definitely delicious too. Even ketchup on eggs. Like I said, let me know what you like to eat with your breakfast down below. I guess I just like all the condiments. But with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully we can complete this huge challenge and let's see what happens. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. I walked away for five seconds. Where did you put that omelet? What I say tastes pretty good. Oh my gosh, Katie. She ate the whole omelet. That fast. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done yet. But she said she she's been keep talking about this stuff challenge that she wants me to try. <laughs> that is crazy. So it's like what, 15 minutes to prepare? Yeah. You think you can do it? You're crazy. Are you heading out? I'm probably shortly out. I'm good. Oh, did you already make it? All right. How's that, everybody? We're down to toast. Excuse me, who? Thomas for the shot. Excuse me. Stop for a second. <laughs> <laughs>
This guy ate that whole omelet so fast that he's about to do the large stuff challenge. That's insane. We're gonna try. Try as you want. Try. Well, good luck, honey. I'm getting out of here, but good luck to you. Hey, thank you. Nice to meet you. Good, nice to meet you. Everybody figured all that out. Eleven minutes in. I really like this bread. It's like molasses bread. Very delicious. A lot though. We are coming to an end. Now they're all talking about me. I love hearing your comments all back there. <laughs> Swanda? Mm -hmm. Try my calorie free sweet bread. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Very friendly people. And that's it, we're done? Perfect. Thank you. So I think somewhere about, um, I don't know, 12 and a half, 13 minutes, somewhere between there, but very good omelet. It was very impressive, yeah. So, like, I just love omelets in general. I think it's probably one of the best breakfast foods. I like eggs. Let me know here, like your eggs in a comment down below. That was very tasty. Um, there is definitely a lots of fillings, that is for sure. An impressive amount of fillings, lots of hash browns. But even that bread was really nice. Is that like a local, where do you guys get the bread from? I think it's just France. Just a standard bread? I think so. Well, whatever it is, it's like a kind of like molasses -y brown. It's really nice. I really I really like the flavor of it. Kind of had this natural sweetness to it, if you know what I mean. But pretty much that's it, everybody. So for this, we do get the uh, meal for free. We get, I guess, a sweet t-shirt, a hat. Which the shirts are hilarious. Do you have those like stuffed shirts? I'll have to check. They had these at least used to have these shirts that said they got stuffed at stuffies. And they're really funny. Um, we also get apparently get hundred bucks, which is pretty dang cool. And maybe we have another challenge coming, which I'm probably going to regret. So at that everyone, of course the next time happy the hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little video, but this place is super cool. I mean, how long have you guys been here for? 35 years. At a first location, right? Or just here? Because yeah, because I heard there was a Stuffies one, which closed, and then there, now there's Stuffies two, and they like moved locations and they re they did a rename, which is pretty cool. Whatever they did it. So yeah, everybody, that's about it. So till next time, it's happy along your happy eating. And if we got a T-shirt, I'll show you. And with that, till next time, have a day.
much. And Sarah, what was your name? My name's Katie. Katie, my name's Joel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys are all, you guys are very friendly here. Seriously, yeah. the staff, like the staff are super. Everyone's super, super cool. Oh, thank yeah. You. So seriously, I think it's like uh, I can. I really. This is my first time here, but I can really see why people come. Like it's so. It's so. There's so, there's hospitality. People actually, you guys really seem to care. Like it's be, it's awesome. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Out of your way if you'd like. Twelve seconds later. If you like food, travel, fitness, life, and everything in between, well, my name is Joel Hansen. The Joel Hansen main channel here offers food challenges, offers buffets, offers some of the craziest, most gastrointestinal endeavors of the world. But if you wanna watch these same challenges and eating events in a more raw fashion where you hear more chewing noises. You get to hear the full conversations between me and the staff. You get to know what really goes on. That's the Joel Hansen Raw channel. You can also click to subscribe to that. And now we have our third channel. That is the More Joel Hansen channel. This is going to feature travel and food and life and fitness. So if you want to go see the world wonders like Chichen Itza in Mexico, see Thai street food markets and everything in between, subscribe to that as well. So three channels to fit your bill, all full of food, all full of fun. So with that guys, subscribe and I look forward to seeing you, well, in a moment, just click one of these videos and let's get rocking.